Hello there, Kel Nelson. Told you I'd be back. I don't lie to you. Arizona Sports Suns reporter. A Suns win over the Blazers, 120 to 107, I believe, was the final. 31 for Kevin Durant, 28 for Devin Booker. They made it look rather formulaic. I don't think that they dominated these this game or even dominated stretches of it. They were just consistently impacting the game, scoring, playmaking for their team. Portland still tried to make both of them not as much of a factor as you would want. They ran aggressive defenses against them, and they still found their ways to contribute. We were waiting a bit for other people to step up. We got a early 16-point edge for the Suns, and then it quickly turned into just a one-point lead. Got it to five at halftime, and then it blew out in the third quarter again. That's where Nasir Little and Yusuf Nurkic against their former teams played well. Nurkic had 11 points in that third. Nasir Little had seven. We were at a 15-point game and a cruise the rest of the way. Portland ran the majority of their offense through DeAndre Ainge tonight. They haven't done that all year, uh, or for the entirety of the year, I should say. They have done it for certain stretches, but tonight they look to make him a focal point early. It looked good early on. He had 12 points in the first quarter, finished with 18, thought he played fine. And there really wasn't much else to take away from that on the floor. I thought that the center rotation for the Suns was a bit of a mixed bag. Yusuf Nurkic had a rough first half, played much better in the second half. It wasn't a good showing for Drew Eubanks. We saw Tremezi Metu for certain stretches at the five as well. It's just going to be a night-to-night -night basis where we don't really know what we're going to get from that group at, at this time at least. As far as the in-season tournament goes and as best as I can pick up on what's going on, the Suns are 2-1 and one right now. Their biggest competition might be the Denver Nuggets who are 2-1 and one as well. They have a point differential of plus nine. Uh, the tiebreaker will be point differential, so if the Suns win on Friday against the Memphis Grizzlies and they win so emphatically, maybe they could get that into the low 30s, mid 30s. Could that be enough? We'll see. The Timberwolves and Kings play each other. They're both 2-0. The loser of that game will be another team in the mix, but their point differentials are plus 16 and plus 10, so they might not factor in as much. So as long as the Suns win on Friday and they win big, they should be in a position where they can do it handily. This is where learning how European soccer works is going to be a factor I have to talk about now apparently because the Suns actually play on Friday earlier than everyone else so the Nuggets and other teams are going to know what point total they have to exactly get to whereas the Suns are the odd team out they play earlier on that day. Never thought I'd be talking about this kind of stuff at a basketball game in the middle of the regular season but here we are so if you were interested by that you were if you're not you already clicked off the video if you didn't hey I'm Callan we'll see you next time.